basketball team seems to be doing pretty well so far this season. That's right. In non-conference play, they've just been winning series after series after series. But now the important games start, and that's the Sun Belt Conference that's play. Right. And they started off their first series of that this past week, and we'll let you know how that went. All right. The Trojan baseball team opened their conference schedule over the weekend against an in-state rival in a three-game home series. Riding high in a nine-game home winning streak, the Trojans entered into Sunbelt Conference play against South Alabama. Friday night saw starting pitcher Tyler Ray go down with an ankle injury, which forced relief pitcher Nathan Hill into the game without any bullpen warm-up. Hill was able to shut down the Jaguars while the Troy batters exploded for six runs in the eighth as Troy took the win on Friday night, 7-1. to one. Nathan did a tremendous job of just relaxing, taking his time, making sure he was ready, and then, man, did he have a great night. Well, I was actually thinking about my freshman year in junior college when the same thing happened and uh, had to warm up completely on the mound. But... Um, once I got going, my slider started getting a little better, and I got a better feel for it. And so uh, I, felt, I felt pretty good throwing that for strikes. Saturday night saw South Alabama pitcher Drew Crenshaw go the distance against the Trojans. Crenshaw pitched a complete game while tossing 130 pitches, helping the Jags to the 10-4 victory. That was impressive. He, he was throwing every pitch he had, fastball, splitter. I didn't know he had a splitter, but he was hitting the corners and making us miss. He was good. You know, I have to give, give the guy credit. You got to tip your hat sometimes. Uh, uh, he, he made some good pitches, but I thought that we got some good balls off the bat. And, um, you know, they just happened, happened to uh, go their way most of the game. Championship Sunday saw yet another pitcher's duel on the series. With the score tied in the seventh inning, the hero for Sunday was Logan Pierce, who gave the Trojans the lead on a three RBI triple, followed by relief pitcher Garrett McHenry getting the win and closing the door on the series with a 6-1 to one Troy win. Get a, get a run in, uh, get a go-ahead run in. Uh, I was thinking uh, center field, left field, and then when I got two strikes, I was just thinking battle and just try to get a run in. We get the bases loaded, and uh, Logan delivers a big hit down the line to score all three. Uh, we come back and add a few insurance runs to that uh, as Garrett continued to pitch well and mow him down and uh, secure the rubber game of the series. And, uh, you know, just happy to have that, uh, that first conference series behind us with, uh, with winning that series. The Trojans don't have a midweek game this week, so their next action will be Friday against Arkansas Little Rock at Middle, Riddle Pace Field in the final three games in an 11-game homestand. The Trojan softball team also opened up conference play this weekend, but they weren't as successful as the men of the diamond. Troy took on Louisiana Monroe to open their Sun Belt schedule. The Trojans split a doubleheader against the Warhawks on Saturday and Sunday's rubber match saw ULM take the early lead and not look back. The Warhawks scored five runs in the first two innings off the Trojan pitcher Ashlyn Williams, eventually winning 7-1. The Warhawks recorded six hits on Williams on the day, and Williams finished with three walks and three strikeouts to pick up the loss on the mound. Up next, the Trojans will take on Kennesaw State in a doubleheader tomorrow afternoon at the Trojan Softball Complex. First pitch is set for 3 p.m. In the second week of track action, the track and field team somewhat appropriately finished second at the Morehouse Relays over the weekend. Both the men's and women's teams finished in second place in the field of 14. The Trojans had a number of athletes in the top 10 finishes, including Nico Freeman in the 100 meters by both the men's 4x100 and 4x200 teams. The throwers were once again successful as the women swept both the discus and the hammer throw and also grabbed first and second in the javelin. The Trojans will return to action this weekend in the Florida State Relays in Tallahassee. Rachel and Jasmine, they couldn't quite get the sweep, but they at least got the series win, which That's means right. they're undefeated in series you know, victories this season. So the baseball team doing great. We hope mm -hmm. the softball team can just, you know, do a little bit better. That's right. The baseball team seems to be doing really well at home, and two out of three is not bad. It's we'll not bad it. at all. And like we say, softball, they're going to be back here tomorrow That's at right. three. So go out there. It's a doubleheader. Watch the first game. Be over around five. Go home and watch Trojan Division and get back out there for the second game of the doubleheader. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Yeah.